hi guys I just wanted to let you know uh, I found something interesting here it's uh, three three branches or trees all tied up in the middle of uh, a fourth actually living tree right there you can see where they're all intertwined or inter inter interwoven at the top sort of trapped and uh, there they are all coming down to the bottom three uh, sort of a triangle shaped sort of the beginnings of a teepee so yeah this is what we've got So, uh, yeah, we do have some structures here. I don't remember this being here last fall when I walked through this area. So, yeah, there is, uh, there is some interesting structure here. I think this was changed. Last time I filmed it, there might have been only one leaner here. Now there's three of them all on a living tree. So, guys, uh, I'll check you later. Bye-bye. Hi guys, I uh, just want to show you a structure I found, uh, and uh, this is uh, Chris, the gentleman I interviewed last year. This is uh, pretty close to his property. This is fairly big. I want to say the the sections leaned up on this uh, dead tree laying across this creek bed. Are anywhere from eight nine feet long these little stacked up sticks but they're actually giant limbs and sections of small saplings and then you got all this accumulated stuff right here that's laying horizontally across these vertical stick placements so guys uh, being it's March here, we always have a ramp up of inactivity, and there's those two uh, smaller stick leans or chunks of wood leaned up as though they're not finished because you go down the rest of the this giant dead tree laying across the creek bed, and there's the rest of uh, the stick leans, and they're a lot bigger than I I thought they would be. And here's it from the other side. We'll go down in the creek bed. And here's the approach from the other side of, uh, so I think this is a high to blind or they're stacking these sticks up in preparation to put up another structure. Sort of how we uh, stack lumber before we do a building project. That's just my, my thoughts on it. pretty crazy and then if I swing around to the left well if I go right over the top of it you'll see there's some more structure behind these stick lanes but if I go to the left of the structure sort of over my sh left shoulder here you'll see a giant tree arch I'll zoom on it, guys. I want to say at the center, that's got to be 13 to 14 feet off the ground, that huge arch. That's a big tree bent over, forming the classic arch. And it points the direction to a property. So, uh, Makes you wonder what's going on here. Oh, you're fine, Chris. So this is what we're looking at, guys. Pretty startling to find this in a creek bed. Only 
75 yards from one guy's property maybe another 50 yards 45 yards from another property right in the Queek Creek bed that just goes through this section of woods that uh, really people generally are never walk this creek bed this is pretty I won't say remote but it's uh, well hidden during the summer because of all the uh, all the growth and vegetation once the trees get leaves you can't even see any of this creek bed here so guys uh, thanks for watching this section this little clip hi guys I'm back uh, and here's another example of a an arch a pinned uh, tree on the other side of that structure we didn't see it but on the other side of that creek bed structure which uh, is on the other side and I'll zoom on it there's that uh, uh, stick stack stick lean whatever you want to call it some str a strange structure and they're pretty common throughout the United States but then on this side of that structure they have a bunch of three fallen trees one tree that's a actually a snap right there and then you've got two trees running parallel to it and they all pin the one big tree pins this arch and there's the top of the arch as you can see it pinned right there underneath that dead tree that apparently could have been placed there I'm saying it's a possibility so guys uh, I'll catch up with you further down trail Yeah, I walked up on this too. Uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, there's a ring of concrete foundation, chunks of uh, somebody's foundation in a complete circle. And so, uh, let me get out of the sunlight here and see, sort of uh, give an idea of what I'm looking at here. You'll see all these rocks, these uh, concrete slabs in a circle, and I don't get it. If you want to walk around and point them out, Chris, I'll just film them as you walk around, but they're, uh, it's sort of weird. Uh, I'll stand in the center and sort of do a sweep. But, uh, yeah, there's one there. There's one there. Biggest one here. There's, and then they can form a complete circle. So, and then I go to the center. And in the dead center of them, there's this uh, chunk of uh, burnt wood. Uh, what appears to be, it's not really charcoal, it's just a, a chunk of wood that was blackened, partially burned, and it's laid next to this, this stone here. And that was in the dead center. And I want to say there's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven of these stones making this sort of a uh, circle. I wouldn't even call it a fire ring. It's uh, reminds me of something humans do. And then uh, there was remnants of a fire right here in the middle by this uh, small boulder, probably no bigger than the size of my hand. And that's not far from the uh, structure we saw found in the creek bed. It's just uh, these chunks of eight concrete sections, like it was part of an old sidewalk or foundation of a house. And they form this circle.
and if I stand back here you would never see them because they don't really stand out they're sort of sort of blend with the leaf litter but that's what we're looking at seven of these stones forming this fairly concentric circle with uh, a chunk of uh, burnt wood in the middle but there was no evidence of a campfire ever being in the middle it almost looks like that chunk of burnt wood was just sort of thrown in the middle to give it the impression that uh, there was a fire there at one time <sighs> tell me what you think guys in the comment section uh, see you further up trail and here's another break guys as you walk away from that fire circle I found it's uh, we saw it from a distance because of the it's a sapling that was broken over I'd say it's about a uh, inch in diameter if that and it's broken off at about the six and a half foot level and uh, going away from that stick stack in the creek we found so I think that's uh you know all the uh conformational breaks and things around that stick structure sort of uh, to me are suspicious and point to activity in this area uh more than likely uh and he has had sightings of them coming out of this section of trees so uh be back guys Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, we just walked up on what could be the evidence of a, a kill of uh, Canadian ge goose and possibly uh, Chris had some uh, white Chinese geese disappear and we're finding both type of feathers, Canadian goose feathers and uh, white Chinese goose feathers all in this section by this uh, section of trees uh dead tree that was chainsawed and all the feathers were just sort of laid in there all the ends of the feathers were chewed on uh could be uh coyotes or foxes i find it interesting how all the ends were chewed on as you can see and every one of those feathers the ends were chewed on just like this uh not plucked out like humans do so just Food for thought. Bye bye. We're just zoom on it. Another pinned arch. Another strange leaner. Sort of the end of the leaner is snagged on a vine like it's leaned up there. Yeah, see the vine going through the Y end of that leaner. Walk up on it. I just find that, yeah, it could be natural. I find it highly unlikely. I go ahead and shake it. Sort of hung up on that vine. Coincidence? Possibly, guys.